Hello, welcome back to Dark Side, the Dark Side Detective. Let's get the name right. Um, we're going to start on case three, Disorient Express. Hopefully, we don't get this uh, get stuck this time. But I'm going to assume each um, chapter is going to be well, probably as long as the last one. So I think the first one was uh, a bit of an intro introduction. Disorient Express. Detective, you're here. I came as soon as you called. What's the case? Why me? That car is loud. Case? No, I just needed a ride. Station's closed. <laughs> closed? Yeah, some spooky train is blocking the platform. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> a spooky train. Yep, spooky train. Anyway, we better get going or we'll be late to work. Dooley, it's a spooky train with a dark side division. Do you not think? Try not to, that's detective work. Let's go have a look then. Fine, but if we miss the free donuts at work, you're buying. Uh, it's the same shit. Are you sure we can't just go to work? I need to get my morning nap in. Uh, oh, station sign. I can't say I'm surprised to find that something strange is happening here. Oh, six six. 6th Street. 66, 6th Street. Whatever the hell they call them in America. Whatever the hell. Uh oh, creepy flickering light. Cops is dumb. Not as dumb as your grandma, kid. Yeah, kid. Could have had a better, better come back to that. Flickering lights always suggest some spooky hijinks. Yes, they do. Tickets. The ticket machine. Seems to be working, but I have no cash. Time to put this badge to work and make use of my police privileges. Free train tickets. I don't even need the train. Sorry, detective. The barrier's broken. We have to crawl under it. Can't we at least jump over? No, the insurance for jumping was too high. We're only cleared for a slow crawl. Being a cop is nothing like television promised it would be. Right. Speak to the conductor. Do you have a ticket, sir? Ticket? Thought not, I'm afraid I'll have to ask you solids to leave. Did you just call us solids? Certainly not, sirs. I wouldn't be throwing around language like that. Sorry, who are you? Trains conductor, sir. Right, you look a tad. Ghostly, sir. That I do, that I do. Are you a ghost? Not at all, sirs. Ghosts are blue, for one. I was gonna say, they changed the colour. And they can't be seen, not without the proper equipment. No, we're from the dark side. What are you doing here? Train stuck, sir. Doing my job to keep the passengers safe while this gets rectified. Rectified? Yes, sir. I'm sure those boys from the bright side division are looking <laughs> into it right now. Uh... I guess there's the bright side division on the dark side. Bright side division, bright side division, right. Why are you here? As I said, sir, train stuck. Not sure what caused it. Likely a problem with the tracks, sir. Goodbye. Come back anytime, sir. I have to say, my throat got really sore during the last episode of this, and it's already tensing up. I don't know what it is. Because I must talk as much doing, like, a normal video, but I feel like reading is making my throat look go tense. I need to, like, massage my, my, uh, my throat. I need some, uh, warm honey. Wait, I can click on the homeless guy? Oh. <laughs> He's just, uh, half of him is stairs. Okay, so that's the busker. Sorry, I shouldn't assume he's homeless, just because he's got a beard and <laughs> and sitting on a box and has a banjo. Oscar the Grouch. Really? Seems like a lovely guy. Unky Sam don't want you to know about the truths I'm here to show. So it makes me frown when I smell me a pig and his dumb side kig. <laughs> okay. Come, come to, t to shut me down. Sidekick isn't a word. Poetic license, pig. Damn. That is... 
Aggressive. Let's talk to Dooley. See, it's just spooky, generically spooky. Nothing special about it. Let's go get donuts. Also, you can tell this is uh, written by, I think, uh, British authors because they spell donuts properly. Proper, properly, <laughs> properly with uh, O U G H rather than D O N U T. Maybe it's pregnant. I don't even read what was said before. So that was an out of context, strange sentence. Uh, there's something about this green, transparent, and eerie train that suggests it's not meant to be here. Wait, I can't go in. Oh, I can carry on the platform though. And that's the first door that was off the edge of the screen. Security camera. I'd wonder if this camera caught any use any useful footage, but I can see that working light is that the working light is painted on. I was also thinking, well, you can see the ghosts, so it's not like we're gonna have some like you know, ghosts only showing up on cameras and weird shit. A plunger, but without the plungy bit. So a stick then. Right. Adventure game, classic. You just pick stuff up. But only certain items. Only certain items. Bin. Hmm, there seems to be something in here. Okay. A glowing green receipt that says for pickup. I can't read much else on it. Hmm. So I have a ghost receipt. Control room is locked for now. Dooley, ah, come on, detective. You know as well as I do how these things go. Let's go in. Oh, nice little rat. Oh, I scarped off. Mirror. Hmm, I need to get my eyebrows plucked. Telling me. Let's talk to him. Whatever happens in here, detective, don't cross the streams. Cubicle. What the fuck? I'm sorry for walking in on you, dude. Shack. Um, hi there. Oh, sorry, the door wasn't locked. Yeah, lock's broken and I have no feet to hold against it. I mean, they're fading out, but I guess that's the top of his trousers. Right, well, I'll leave you to it. Whoa, hold up, Daddy-o. I'm in a bit of a... Whoa, I clicked. No. Hey, Daddy-o's. Uh, did you get that toilet paper for me? Oh, right, okay. Right. Is there a uh, like a a dark side smell wafting around as well? Is it what? Hey, it's Day of the Tentacle. <laughs> tentacle. What on earth is that? I'm not sure, but I think we should send it back to wherever it came from. Flush. No use. You could say that it isn't tentacle on staying where it is. Eh? 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 I need to find something to push it down with. We've already got... Is it me or has the sound gone away? <laughs> oh, I think it's my headphones. Look at that, I do have a new case, because uh, the headphone jack's a bit knackered, actually. My gut says no on this one. Right, that is the thing that you would use to push something down with, but sure. Graffiti, that's some lazy graffiti. I always put in more effort when tagging in the subways. <laughs> what? You heard me, knock. Okay, uh, where are the rats here? Again. Let's do this one. Toilet paper. Creepy or not, nobody deserves to be stranded without toilet paper. Can he use this physical stuff though? Knowledge reminds me of my career since I was assigned to the dark side division. Why do you always follow me into these tight spaces? Well, you know what they say about friends in tight spaces. No, me neither. Let's give him the physical toilet paper. The solid. <laughs> I think he just presumably dropped a solid. There you go, guys. Sorry to leave you Hooper in hovering, sorry. <laughs> Fire out, Daddy! Over here, take this coin as thanks. A cult coin. An evil-looking coin about the size of a quarter. Evil-looking coin. Can coins be evil? The coins have morality. I don't know about that rat, but uh, let's talk to him. I don't think I asked him. What happens in detective? Oh, yeah, we did. We've already seen that gag. So I guess I can pay for tickets. I give him this. 
Any idea what this is? I know what it's not, sir. It's not a ticket onto this train. Okay, can I buy a ghost ticket? There is not a chance in hell this will work. All oh, right, of course. You received the ticket. It's not. It's a normal ticket. Here you go, one ticket. Fine, you on you go then, I suppose. Wait, do we both get on? With a single ticket? That's pretty good. Although I suppose Well, let's not get into the specifics. Of British rail companies. Everyone here is so sick looking. They're not sick, they're transparent. I can see right through them. I've always been impressed with your scrutiny skills. Scrutiny skills. <laughs> Hippie gal. Party guy, granny, hippie girl. Well, hello there. Hiya. Where are you go? Where are you off to? I was on my way to San Frankenstein, Cisco. <sighs> Obviously, but then we got stuck here. This place is terrifying. How so? Well, for a start, there's not a single screaming beast in the sky. Nobody's being followed by shadow men, and nothing is on fire. Nothing. Maybe you're not the girl for me. I didn't know you were. Uh... And be fraternizing with uh, potential suspects. Everyone, uh, we've already we've done that. Jesus Christ, Granny, Granny Dooley, is that you? Sorry, dearie, I'm Granny Dooley. You do look like my little Patrick, though. My name's Patrick too. Did you also like games of I Spy as a child? I did. I Spy with my little eye, the coming of the end, the world eating itself, rivers of gore flooding the streets. I don't, I don't, I don't know what this version. I don't know this version of the game. Oh, seeing the end times with little Patrick's favourite. Yeah, party guy. Wait, is this the detective then? I like your glasses. Da, they're my party goggles. On your way to a party? Always, darling. Always, darling. What's... Is there a reference there? <laughs> Every place is party place when I have my goggles on and I always have my goggles on. Even here now we party on the train. Hmm. Don't know if I... doesn't jump out to me. So we can only go to the right. Then to the right we shall go. Oh shit, it's more purple stuff. Ah, a dark side portal. It appears we've found our number one suspect for all these strange goings on. You have the right to remain silent when questioned. Anything you say I do, mate. Julie, what are you doing? Reading it, it's right. And how exactly do you intend to arrest it? With my handcuffs, obviously. Top marks for enthusiasm. Right, we can just walk. Alright, dude. We can just walk through the portal. Let's do it. <laughs> oh shit. Looks like the purple rift has an accomplice. Damn, he's balding though. Ah, although he's bearded, his hair's migrated. I get it, I get it. I'm gonna need a second pair of handcuffs. <laughs> Agent, what was his name? Oh, fuck, I missed it. You look familiar. Agent McScream. Does the fire recognize the flame? Does the darkness recognize the shadow? Does the storm recognize the, the wind rain? Damn it, man, I've lost my train of thought. Train of thought. So, you're an agent here, huh? We are all agents of the never ending hunt. Servants of the crawling death void. Ministers of the world's cruelty. Well, I'm happy you're doing okay for yourself. Thanks, I've been. Uh, it's been a lot of hard work and late nights at the office. Any idea what's going on? Interlopers, friend, fiends, fleshy monstrosities. Things that should not have to come to pass. Tracks of chaos intertwine. It's not much of an idea right now, eh? <laughs> no. So, receding hairline. How's that treating you? The end comes for us all. Entropy is a cruel mistress, I guess. I'd best be going. We'd all best be going to the places we would best be at. Yeah, let's talk to Dooley. This is one heck of a light show you've got going on down here. Dooley, they're paused to the dark side. We're in the dark side right now. Of course it's dark. We're underground. That's probably why we they've lit up, lit it up like this. Right, let's give them the receipt. No thank you, I've already eaten. Is it a 
for dinner? Dining? Is there a dining car? Finally, somebody in authority. Hey, sorry guy, but you don't know any more than the rest of us. Hi detective, what's going on? Oh, it's her, it's Raxa from the last chapter case. Raxa, why are you here? Getting the train home from college, then we got diverted to wherever this is. Well, we're on the case now, so get comfortable. He means... Oh yeah, I get it. Let me know if I can help at all. Will do. So there's someone... He's literally just called headphones. It's a bit... Diminishing. Do daddy. <laughs> I wonder if he knows what's going on. Fire extinguisher. Conductor. Stay back, monster. Whoa, calm down. Sorry, I thought you were him. Him? The intense man in the tunnel who threatens to arrest and or eat anyone who gets off the train. Arrest or eat? Yep, and I'm not sure who chooses. What's going on here? You're not... You're really not him. I, I don't really know what happened. We left the last station on time, then some weird lights flashed and now we're here. Wherever here is. Who's this man you keep talking about? He looks a bit like you, only not. Not at all, now that I see you. Properly see you. He talks... Yeah, he stalks about outside this train, sniffing for clues and snarling when he sees us. Has he hurt anyone so far? Thankfully, no. He seems more men menacing than dangerous. Do you need anything else? I'll be here. Sorry about the mix-up earlier. Waster. Hey, dude. We've been on this train for ages. What's going on? I'm afraid. Uh, oh, and he should have done the voice that I did before. Hey, dude. Because I keep seeing floating green people, dude. I'm not at liberty. I think I indulged a little too much this morning. Indulged? Oh, I guess in his uh, waster activities. You probably shouldn't tell me that. I'm an officer of the law. Far out, dude. Never mind. Warning sign. There's a few things to click on. Fire extinguisher. In case of fire, pray somebody has refilled the extinguisher. They have not. Warning sign. If you find yourself in a parallel dimension, Please stay in the carriage. An oddly useful warning. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so we can go onto the other platform. I like how this is sort of mirrored though. That's like an interesting design idea for a level or something. Wait, just, just a mirrored. Oh no, I didn't read it and you can't go back. Stop using your Sherlock powers on me. Wait a minute. Is this the dually of the other side? Wait, dually's staying in the train? Now then, now then, now then. You look like one of those living folk we've got plodding about the place right now. Officer Dooley? Name's Ghoulie, chief of the Brightside Division. <laughs> yeah, he's the chief this time, on this side. Brightside Division specialists deal with threats from your neck of the woods, so as to speak. My neck of the woods, the other world, that from which... Act which from whence you came, son. I surmise from your appearance that you're a detective. I'll be at one down. I'll be at one down on his look. Hey, I presume that being the case, you've crossed to, over to investigate your world's version of this uh, situation. What is with the spelling? <laughs> situation. I am. Can you help? No, son, I cannot. This is your jurisdiction. You should leave this to us. This isn't your jurisdiction. I can't read. Why? It's like the worst game to play when I'm feeling like this. You should leave this to us professionals and take care of our train back in your own world. Shouldn't you look into that? Jurisdi jurisdiction. Jurisdiction? Son, seems like a concept beyond a dangerous maverick such as yourself. Maybe I should slap you behind bars. Kinky. Hey, it's the busker. See if he likes us. Sing me a song, buddy. What? You're the busker, not me. That's how buskers work here, you tourist. <laughs> Why has he got the guitar, though? Everyone's missing their legs as well. Um, should we go up? Let's go on the platform, I guess. Oh, this is a restricted area. Classified personnel. Person L. Person L only. Are you a classified person? Person L. 
No, I did not think so. Hun? Hun? Hun account, sorry, not Hun. <laughs> I was like, why is he calling this Hun? Like, Jesus. Hun account of myself and McScream being the only ones who is. So unless you is one of us, I suggest you step back, son. Step back. I don't get why he's talking like that. Can I give him the receipt? Does this let me pass? What's all this then, eh? A note from your mum? Damn it. What is that thing? Ticket machine. Is this is this machine crying? Uh, I don't know, but mold. A dark patch of fuzzy mold. I think it's looking at me. <laughs> Wait, what? Patch of mold so fuzzy it looks like hair. All right. Oh wait, it's like a beard as well. Because look at the shape, it's got a mustache and beard. Oh, there we go, it gives the clue away. And to find something to complete this disguise before I put it on. I need like a bald cap to become the other detective? Or am I, it looks more like a pirate beard, but that would be ridiculous. Come get me from the station, he said. Routine, he said. Ass. Costume shop. Debris. Oh yeah, there's the bird things. Most of the dark side city appears to be in ruin. What the hell was that? That's flying terror, I think it said. Sky, it hurts my eyes to look. Alright then. Uh, station sign. Trains do not run on time, they run on fuel. Trains will also be late. <laughs> Some things are universal, I suppose. Given how little I know about how this place works, they could sell costumes or turn you into one. Well, that will complete my disguise. The Daily Chronicles. What horrors could possibly make the news here? Mayor points off camera. Nice. He's like, look over there, and he runs away. Wig and moustache. What's this one? Looks normal enough to me. Normal, sir? Why, that's the very pillar Summers are built on, sir. <laughs> a friend and mentor to those in need. A shoulder to cry on. A person who will live in a wood hut with no air conditioning. A legendary camp counsellor, sir. Nobody would buy that as, as a camp counsellor. Oh, but they do, sir. It's the moustache, sir. Shows them to be rugged wilder men, suited for the rough and tumble life of a camp counsellor. Not for timid folk like you and I, sir. No, sir. Not for shop vendors and coat warmers, no. Okay. Biker. Pirates. See, it is a pirate. It'll be a black beard or green beard. Amaze your friends, surprise your enemies, confuse real pirates with this inefficient pirate ensemble. Comes with a free press ganging. <laughs> Alright, can I have this one please? Biker outfit. Be a badass biker, not included. Bike not included. Are you still a biker without a bike? Be a badass walker. Assume your ass is bad either in the dangerous sense of the missing and buttock way you're called. Either in the dangerous sense. I'm not sure what the other's doing that. Did you write these adverts yourself? No, sir. Came that way, sir. Good words, ain't they, sir? Wizard's outfit. A snarky teenage wizard is welcome anywhere. <laughs> well, not so much welcomed as he'll turn up and then he'll be there. And it's almost as much hassle to get rid of him as it is to just leave him be. That's my usual party vibe anyway, so two thumbs up from me. Hmm. Punk wig. Oh, wait, I have the receipt. Dressed like a punk, or a road warrior from the future, or um, you could wear this and be a, I don't know, a carrot. <laughs> that is true. Oh my god, someone should give Donald Trump uh, green hair. He'd be, <laughs> be a carrot. Well, I'm convinced. Uh, yeah. In the receipt. One tick, sir. Uh, oh, miss, miss Biscotti. Biscotti, it does beg your pardon, miss. I should have known, obvious to me now it is. <laughs> obvious to me now it is. I'll get your items for you now, miss. Oh, um, yes, thanks. And here you go, miss. One swim cap. Great, I've got a bald cap. I love how 
That's actually quite funny, you know, because it's playing on the nonsense of, of um, adventure games. But I don't think that's kind of a funny idea, though, using a swim cap as a ball clap, cap. Like, it's so bad, it just might work. Now, I guess I can just Agent McScream whenever I want. Yay? Hmm. Well, I can get past the cop, I guess. Oh, there you go. Um, the guard. Let's do it. Let's do it at the right place at the right time. Time to try this. I can't bring myself to call it a disguise. Time to try whatever, whatever this is out, I guess. Uh, he's not that bold, though. But, sure. Chief Gooey. Do you think, son, that I've not seen my share of disguises? This one is particularly poor, what with it partic partially made up of some fungus and you lacking a certain floaty, transparent quality. Well, it was worth a shot. It was. I wish the agent I was sent was so innovative. I tell you what, son, in you go. Maybe you can solve this thing after all. What about jurisdiction? Ahem, <laughs> jurisdiction. I'll paperwork up a solution now. If off you op. Off you op. Before I change my mind. Right, thanks. Uh, I like the new sprite though. It's kind of. I don't know if he's going to get one eye though. I feel like they both fit on this side of his face, but let's not question that too deeply. Control room bin. Full of pictures of you playing a game where where a tiny pixel man looks like a looks in a trash can at pictures of you. Uh hilarious. Control room. Poster. Looks like he hung in there for way too long. Uh key rack. Who doesn't like having keys? He's labelled con says control room. I guess that's on the it works on the other side of the of the world though. A note saying she loathes me, she loathes me not. <laughs> nice healthy relationship. All systems operating correctly. Wait, what was that? Power control. Line one. That's all anything I can do. Okay. Ooh, -hoo -hoo, creepy. Mirror, looking good, Frankie. I think you've let yourself go. Shut up, reflection. This looks familiar, either, that, either that's a clue or there is one lazy artist hanging around here. Graffiti, this place oh. Why is that clear though? So I was going to say, it could be the same person who's like, calls this mess or something, but then it would be one lazy artist. <laughs> oh, the guy's not taking a dump. Seems to be something stuck in there. <laughs> That's better, thanks, um, I mean flush. Plunger head. Nice. Oh, was it the janitor then? <laughs> the cleaner is like... I don't know, I've been to both worlds. The ultimate accessory in toilet debungification. The plunger. Time to take the plunge. In this particular story. So I say, oops, wrong way. What's that you got? What's that you have there? It's it smells of evidence to me, but you should not take it beyond this place. Looks like I have to put this key back until I find some other way to get it past him. Can I plunge him? Damn. I eat it. Hmm, not sure. Let's put it back and then just plunge something.
Was there something in the toilets? Seems like this is the last of the sweet, sweet janitor cart goodies. Can I, can I steal the rat? Can I feed the key to the rat? <laughs> I'm grateful you helped out here, but how do you but do you intend to stick around for the main show? I thought you'd already been. Well, that was the oh I can plunge this though. Right, you little sucker. That sucker tentacles very good. Should be helping, shouldn't I? Not sure how that worked, but Oh Oh I can give the key to it. And then plunge it again, and it'll come back through to this side, I guess. Very, uh. I don't know. Simple? I mean, a lot of puzzles are simple in these games, but they have more time to them, I guess. Whereas here, it's so short that it's kind of. Wait a minute, why didn't that work? Maybe I shouldn't send him home empty. Oh, yeah, 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 of course. It even stopped me from fucking up, which is a bit scarily generous. Who doesn't like having keys? Hold on this for me, will you, buddy? Cool, let's plunge. Oh, plunge. When I plunge you, purple, remember that I plunge you with love. Okay, now we can get the key. The key to this entire um, mystery. Thanks, purple. Did you name the tentacle purple? Don't be jealous, Dooley. You're still my favorite. <laughs> Alright, now we can get in here. That seems to have worked. Let's see what's behind door number two. Oh shit, it's a satanic Jay is the it is the janitor. Or the engineer. Although I guess yeah, he wouldn't be the cleaning guy. What? How'd you get in? T Tam locked that door from the inside. This is your handiwork, I take it. They shouldn't have fired old Tam for sleeping on the job. <laughs> Told me he did, his black magic classes started at midnight and ran through. Morning shifts ain't for old Tom Tam, sorry. Oh it's him though, he's talking about himself. <laughs> Okay. Heavy sleeper he is. Fuck him, Dooley. I left my book at the station. Can I use these handcuffs instead? <laughs> Wait a minute. Something tells me this isn't over. Get out of here, guy. See what happens if you hang out. Hang on for too long. What are you talking about? I've seen things, Dooley. You things you people wouldn't believe. Stop going through the trash. An unexpected but strangely relevant note. Ritual stuff. It's like this place with the scene of some occult goings on. The cinnamon candles remind me of Christmas though, which is nice. Old Tam was always a fan of Christmas. Pappy used to buy us old trains and Mama gave us voodoo dolls. Magical time of year. Looks like this place... Yeah, I've read that. Okay. This is some bad hoodoo. Tam must have installed an occult virus on the controls that's causing all these problems. An old floppy disk popped out. This must be how the virus is installed. Could prove useful. Three and a half inches of innuendo laden evil. Innuendo laden. Floppy disk? Is that a floppy? Is that that's not really that innuendo though, is it? People will think twice about firing old Tam now. They'll think twice about hiring you too. Wait, what? Wait, okay. Stay here, Dooley. Make sure this guy doesn't get away. But then how is old Tam meant to escape? That's that's the point. Oh well, that ain't fair. Hmm. Mm hmm. So I have a floppy disk. Can I give it to the conductor? No. So I just install it on the other machine, like. Because is it supposed to be on the other machine?
This can't be the end. It feels incredibly simple. Wait, what? I don't want to go back out there. Oh, I'm going to give it to the detective? It's like evidence? Not sure. Really? Hmm. Well, conductor. I'm so, I'm so glad you're not him. Can I talk to him? Oh, uh, no. Really? Uh. Oh, Raxa! Is the computer girl. Rex, I think you can make any sense of this. Let me see. Oh, this is an occult virus. Yeah, I think it's to blame for what's going on. I can probably talk you through how to make an antivirus on my machine. That's what I was hoping for. Thanks. Hey, minigame. So what do I do? You need to clean the infected uh, infection disc sectors. Infected disc sectors. Sounds easy. Not so easy. It's a virus. So each sector you clean will infect those around it. You can also lure the virus from infected sectors into clean ones, cleaning the infected areas. Why would I do that? To beat the virus you have to make sure it has nowhere to hide, that will involve, involve tricking it. This sounds harder than I was expecting. Don't worry, I made a backup, just hit reset if you need me to roll back. So you can start again. Thanks, okay let's do this. Oh, one of those flipping things. Those flipping things. Do I do the corners? I forget how to do these things. Shit. That's what I don't like about these, is that there is just a way to do them. And if you don't know them. Um, hang on, so... Yeah, do I do the corners? Is that what you do? I just get myself back to the start. <laughs> uh... Wait. did it by randomly clicking for a while. <laughs> that is how I solve those things. Okay, I think that's it. Okay, great. And you're sure this will work? Sure is not. Sure is a strong word, but when dabbling with the occult, uh, when dabbling with but I think so, yes. Well, if it does, the city owes you big time, really, because I'm only on this train due to a mountain of parking tickets. <laughs> Shit. Whoops, not the toilets. Hell no. Let's go there again. Bloating antivirus now. Wait. The guy in the toilet. T 
Ticket to Ride. It's an achievement I got. Great work, Detective. You got the trains moving again. Dooley, you understand what just happened here, right? No? <laughs> Let's get this guy to the cells. Ahaha, ha. how are you gonna get me there? Train ain't running. We just we just talked about how that was fixed, weren't you listening? Plus we have this car. This has not been a good day for Tam. Um, Case closed. Wow, that was a... I don't know. A, simpler than the second one, it seemed. Which is interesting. But yeah, cool. Um, I guess I'll continue playing. I don't know. I mean, if, every episode it's making my throat hurt. I don't understand. <laughs> I'll have to get a, a, a better drink with me or something. Because I just have cold tea right now and that's probably not helping. But yeah, I'll cut this video here and I'll continue playing next time. So thank you for watching and I'll see you then.